have to edit the beginning. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Okay, go. Okay. So, hi guys. I wanted to update you a little bit, and I'm very pregnant. Can you see this? Very, very pregnant. And my nursery is in the background because we're going through a remodel right now, and baby is not going to have a nursery for a little bit because we're working on that. 38 weeks pregnant, and we're going for a VBAC, which means vaginal birth after a cesarean. And because I had to have a C-section with my first daughter because she was breech, which means she was head up when they're supposed to be head down. So I don't really want to have another C-section. Like it was pretty awful for me. I know a lot of people are like, I love my C-section. I'm gonna schedule my C-section. It's great, but I don't know. I I don't want to be cut open again because I've already been cut open like four times now. So so I am nervous about the V-back though because I don't know what. A regular vaginal birth is like so I'm nervous about that like all the stretching and possible tearing and whether or not I should get an epidural um, I thought and I, the pooping well the pooping <laughs> yeah so one of my things with the epidural is if I wait and I don't get the epidural right away then I can actually get up and go to the bathroom if I need to go to the bathroom Mm -hmm. But if I get the epidural, then I don't, do I like feel, do I feel like I have to go to the bathroom? Or, because I don't think it takes away your feeling completely, it's just pain management. But then I probably can't walk myself to the bathroom. Okay, back to the I other know. part. No. Sorry. Well, no, so like, should I get an epidural right away or not? I don't, I don't know. Should I get it at all? Because I thought when you had a VBAC, you had to have an epidural. Because then you're like ready to go for emergency C-section, but my doctor was like, no. Now that I have to make no. that decision. I wish like somebody would just make it for me, right? We spent like a lot of time thinking about that last time. I remember like going back and forth and you're like, I don't know, should I, should I not? We had this exact same conversation. Yeah. but what did I come up with? Do we didn't, we didn't come to any kind of conclusion. Just the same thing? Like, yeah, we just went to the exact... we feel it <laughs> we're out just, and... We just, and... <laughs> We're stuck in the exact same situation we were. Some of my friends are just like, get it right away. Other people are just like, no, you know, be like a she-woman and do it the way that we've always done it. Just all natural. The baby comes like, out. And I thought I was going into labor today because some stuff was coming out. Like, the with the cervical plug. And it's probably because they've been eating the dates. Because if you eat dates, supposedly there's like actual research studies, it's not just some Google something, that it doesn't make you go into labor faster, but it makes you um, less likely to have to be induced, and that if you are induced, it goes more quickly because it like softens the cervical. But you have to eat five a day. At least that's what they did in the studies. And literally, I ate one date, and I thought I ate, like, a dozen donuts. And I was like, I don't think I can have five dates. So the last time I was at the doctor, I was, like, a centimeter dilated. And that was, like, a week ago, five days ago. And my next appointment is this Monday, so in two days. And we'll see what's going to happen. Anything you want to add? That's the game. No. The construction is coming along nicely. <laughs> we will have plywood on the roof of the nursery the fourth bedroom meaning is georgia gonna pick that for her room i don't know babe it's gonna be cray cray i think we should paint it pink sparkly okay or have like one wall that's pink sparkly <clears throat> yeah i'm totally happy with that that's all she wants in life i asked her what she wanted her birthday cake to look like and she said pink sparkly birthday cake mm -hmm. bye see you later